Welcome to the second part of this Bat Moons tutorial. Now we left off where we finished this skin. And now I'm going to build up the yellow highlights. For that I'm going to use Aerial Yellow. And I'm going to thin it down the same as the skin tone. And I'm going to start layering in over the shirt and all of the yellow areas. Of course this is a very thin mixture and we're going to start building opacity little by little. You can of course apply the different coats as you saw in the first part until you are happy with the result. Of course if you would like to paint orcs quickly you may want to not thin as much the colors but uh, the overall quality will drop a little bit. Also to have a very clean uh, crumb free and uh, without brush strokes yellow it's a good idea to apply the thin coats as I'm doing here and let him, letting them dry completely before applying a second one. If you tamper with the drying layer you are going to create the paint crumbs and brush strokes. Next I'm going to use Flash Kids Yellow and that color I'm going to use it to only edge highlight the the shirt and the metallic metallic yellow areas. Here I'm using a Kolinsky size 2 brush. This brush is very good for painting miniatures. It holds a fine tip and a lot of paint at the same time and you can use it for painting the whole miniature start to finish uh, only the finest details can be done with a uh, size 0 brush uh, to be a little bit more accurate but uh, I recommend this brush a lot next I'm going to use Mornfang Brown again and with this color I'm going to stain the yellow areas, metallic yellow areas, to make a little, a little bit of uh, battle damage, like this. Of course, my technique is not that accurate, and I probably not the best way to do this, but it it uh, it does a very decent finish. Next, I'm going to use uh, Rune Fang Steel and color a little bit of uh, silver inside of the brown areas. Just try to leave uh, a um, brown outline to these areas, like this, and you'll have yourself uh, some decent looking uh, battle damage. Of course you can use it a little bit more than I did here. This is just a sample see to look uh, what can you do with these colors? And then I'm going to use Mornfang Brown again and I'm going to clean up the pants and all of the other brown areas. Here you can paint towards the upper parts and leaving the shadows on the previous color on the brown washed with black color and that's it. Next, to further highlight the pants, I'm going to use Scrack Brown. And this color, I'm going to use it towards the top, the most exposed to light areas, and the sharp edges as an edge highlight. And it's very simple, that's uh, practically it. Of course, never use uh, paint straight out of out of the pot unless you're in a hurry and you don't care much about the quality but it's always uh, recommended to thin down the paint so that the uh, miniature looks uh, colored and you don't see the uh, actual paint on top of the model 
Next, I'm going to use Iron Breaker. And with this color, I'm going to highlight the metal areas. For the axe, I'm just going to uh, make some strokes like this to simulate like uh, like friction from the from the blows, I guess. And uh, I'm going to edge highlight the slugger and other details. I'm just gonna highlight with this color. Next, I'm going to use Balor Brown. Or you can use any similar color, like yellow brown. Or you can mix yellow into your brown. Or you can use any color, uh, any other color that you like. And I'm going to paint the stitches here on the pants. Of course, I made a little mistake there, but I fixed it off camera. Next, I'm going to use Downstone. And I'm going to edge highlight all of the black areas. I'm not a big fan of highlighting the black areas like this. I would probably, if I'm doing an army for this guys, I would go, I would just leave the uh, black as it is. Uh, but a good edge highlight really makes it stand out from the distance. And if you want to go for more quality, which I didn't want to go further into that, you can use Ashing Gray before the downstone. Downstone on the very edges and the ashen gray all over the edges. But uh, for this miniature, I just did this. Um, you can just leave it like that, or you can just do as I did. Next, I'm going to highlight the gold with Gehenna's gold. This is a very nice color, it's a reddish gold, and I'm going to highlight all of the uh, gold details like so. Next, to finish off the gold, I'm going to use Auric Armor Gold. And I'm going to highlight the gold areas. Next, I'm going to highlight the teeth. For that, I'm going to use Ushafti Bone, followed by Screaming Skull. This is a very simple step, but be very careful not to paint over the parts that we already painted, or we're gonna have to fix them and it's gonna be uh, extra work. Next comes the Screaming Skull. Then I'm going to use a little bit of Gorthor Brown just as a uh, accent, I guess. It's not really uh, something very noticeable. I'm just going to color in some stripes with this color over the uh, uh, the handle of the axe, just to make it look a little bit more, more like wood. You can also use the main blade brown to give further uh, uh, lines on the, on the wood to make it look like wood. But I just did this kind of a random pattern to make it look different from the pants. And to finish it off, I'm going to use Wild Rider Red. And I'm not gonna actually do it on the video. But you can see I painted the eyes with a fine detail brush. Very carefully. Very carefully. And that's it. I realized this model is uh, very, uh, it has a lot of steps and
and it's uh, about tabletop quality. It looks uh, pretty cool, I guess. It's one of the models that I've liked more since I started painting tutorials. It's my favorite one, I guess, and uh, I like it very much. Also, if you would like to use this tutorial to paint uh, lower quality or different kind of uh, Batmoon orcs, you can just use the same steps. Uh, you can drop s some highlights. You can just base coat the whole thing and wash it and that looks pretty good. Uh, or you can take it the whole way like I did here. And yeah, that's it. Uh, thank you very much for watching this tutorial. I'm really proud of how this model turned out and really happy with it. I hope you like it too. Uh, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to my channel to see more videos. And also you can check out my Facebook page if you would like to talk to me or just uh, keep in touch with what I'm doing. And I'd like to thank you very much for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Thank you very much.